I love and Randy here playing Farming Simulator 22 on Genesee County, New York, our Rags to Riches series. And this is uh, probably going to be the last week on this map. In fact, I'm, I'm going to say this is definitely going to be the last week on this map. I mean, I know I said that uh, last week here already. Uh, but again, my goal was to finish up the harvest. Uh, and uh, yeah, we didn't quite make it that far here last week. So anyway, we're getting down to the last, uh, let's see, be five more episodes. Or, well, four more here after this one, I guess, technically, right? Four more episodes after this one here. And like I said, we're planning on wrapping up this map here this week. Anyway, riding along with the uh, corn, or the combine that's harvesting the corn here at the moment. And I don't know if it's something with this combine or what. Uh, this combine did the same thing on the last map here as well. But he is missing all kinds along the edge. Uh, I think the last one was a sunflower field, if I remember correctly. He kept weaving in and out. And you can see, like, right along there, he got it. But then he missed there. Missed. The, the, like, here he's missing a whole strip. And... I'm kind of tempted, everyone, to go, like, grab the other combine, bring the other combine over here just to see once if it'd be the same or not. Um, it seems like it should be, Evan, because if you go look at the course play course, like, you can literally see the course play course is, like, he is following the course. Oh, yeah, we're kind of too far. Actually, you know what, if I do it again, well, there it goes. Yeah, so, like, you can see over here, everyone, like, along, bumps in, bumps out, bump, like, what in the world? Yeah, there, it's, it's not, it's bumping out here, but it's not, so, yeah, I don't know what's up with that one. Um, I have not noticed this before. Oh, I didn't mean to do, actually do that one. That was the wrong one. I meant to do that one. There we go. Turn that back on. Back it up there, bud. Uh, back it up. I said back it up. There we go. I'm going to blame that on, uh, was it, uh, oh, what mod is that again? Nope, not that one. Oh, it was Control-C. Nope, I mean, guess not. Anyway, whatever. We'll leave the uh, combine to that job, everyone. And in between episodes, finished up a couple more uh, jobs here as well. And I don't know if I can get it to where you can see it there. we got a couple more jobs to do here yet. I did go ahead and uh, pick up one more job here in between episodes. There was a plowing contract that showed up at $91,000. I'm like, oh, yes, yeah, sign me up for that one. Oh, wow, actually, the profit per minute is not particularly great on that. It, again, I mean, the profit per minute, I'm sure, probably depends on like what size equipment you're using. And in this case, we're using our own equipment. So I don't know how that exactly uh, factors in. So maybe if we have a little bit smaller, or a little bit larger equipment, that uh, profit per minute probably uh, changes slightly. Ooh, you know what this does remind me? Uh, speaking of fuel here, the uh, cultivating tractor, which I don't remember what field he is on. Actually, you know what? We can go check the contracts. That would probably be the easiest way. You are cultivating, must be the other one. Uh, field 44, okay. So we need to go to field 44 with some fuel here. Because that tractor needed fuel. Uh, it shut down here in between episodes. Uh, of course, now that I restarted the game, I mean, it does have a little bit more fuel in it. So it is still running here at this point. But it probably won't be much longer. So we'll run some uh, fuel up there here a minute. Okay. Oh, yeah. Plowing tractor. Uh, speaking of the plowing tractor, I, mean, I don't know if you have enough money or not. This tractor here, uh, probably to no surprise, I mean, it's it's the wrong color green, I mean, so that explains all the problems, but doesn't quite have enough horsepower for our plow, and I use quotes around that one because <laughs> our plow, eh, I guess maybe it's a chisel plow, I, I guess it could be. We'll, we'll go with it is, it's a, it's a chisel plow. Looks more like a cultivator to me, but whatever. But yeah, this tractor isn't quite powerful enough, so I'm, I'm thinking that we maybe need to do a... Uh, a little look and everyone see what's, uh, what we can find for uh, larger tractors to uh, pull this with here, you know. Yeah, that, that's definitely not green. That that definitely won't pull it, I'm sure. Nope. Now, uh, we could uh, we could see what's about getting a larger fence to pull it, maybe. Uh, 1151, that might be a possibility. Or, I mean, we could always, you know, get the right color green, too, I suppose. Yeah, that's just another, that, that's not green either. Nope, definitely won't pull it. 9RT series. What else do we got? Anything that's standing out that says, you know, like, uh, drive me. Hmm. 900. Nope. I'm, I'm sure we're probably going to need something up in the, like, four-wheel drive size tractors. You know, 9RT, 9R, 9RX series. That is my uh, my guess. Um, yeah, too, uh, too small. Probably not enough horsepower on that one. Hmm. So I'm thinking our choices at this point are either the... We want to stick with a fent here. Like the 11, what's, what's go up to here? 1167, that's 1151. Probably like the 1167. I mean, that'd probably be our best choice. Ooh, we have just enough money. Though, mind you, I'd probably... Does the U.S. change it? No, U.S. does not change the price. 
<laughs> wow. The uh, EU, is that the only thing that changes? Oh, and it does change some of the way. Well, it doesn't. Like those stay. I think that's still a European configuration there. Those probably need to actually come off in the US configuration, but whatever. I see there's just a couple little minor, you know, blinker configurations. I'm not sure what the point of that is. Like with this, it looks like it just sticks up a little. Oh, so in the US configuration, Evan, like you can see the blinker from both sides. In the EU configuration, you can only see it from one side. I mean, okay, whatever. But yeah, the EU configuration, oh my goodness, look at that muffler apparatus. I hate to think uh, what's going on with that. Oh, well, whatever. Uh, I would like to add GPS to it, though. Uh, so that is probably going to push us, yeah, 464,000. Uh, we don't quite have enough money for that. Uh, do we have any contracts that are, like, really close to being finished here? Actually, I could probably look up here. 94% on field 25. What is field 20? Oh, that's harvesting sunflowers. Okay. Boy, if we can complete that one, that would be... Uh, Field 18, field 66, 47, yeah, oh wait, uh, field 44, oh, that's cultivating, field 44 cultivating, yeah, we're almost done with that field, if we can get that field finished here, that would, uh, give us the, uh, boost, we might wait for that one, I might just wait till that field is finished here, uh, we can get just a little bit more money, and maybe we'll go for the 1167 there, uh, I, again, I want to put GPS on it, so, we could borrow, like, 10,000, I guess, real quick if we wanted to, but, we're almost done with this field, so we'll just wait a minute. There he is. Boy, he says we're almost done. He's got quite a bit more to go yet, though. Now, if I just uh, pull up a fuel there, will he start refueling, or am I going to have to stop him? There we go. Let's stop you here a minute. Please wait while oh, the beeping uh, indicates we're refueling. I know sometimes, of uh, course, they like when you pull up with a fuel trailer, it will stop, but maybe that's not a feature here that's in Farming Simulator 22 anymore. Maybe that was only previous uh, versions. Okay, well, wait for that to uh, refuel. Let's uh, quick tab around here. We'll take this tractor off of this job here. Like I said, needs just a little bit more horsepower, I think. And, I mean, we need an excuse to spend some of our money, right? Also, the turning radius on this tractor is absolutely atrocious. Not even going to be able to make that turn, am I? Okay, fine. We're just going to park this back here and call it good. Oh, let's see. Oh, that's right. I want to get this combine headed up to the next uh, field. Uh, finished up the sunflowers here on this field. We're going to go... Actually, you know what? We probably... We should probably go to the shop, actually. That would probably be the best spot, because we need to pick up our draper head, because we're going to go harvest some soybeans. So shop first, drop off the head, and then we'll head out to the field. And I don't remember what field. We'll have to go check our contracts here again. Let's see. Do we want to go that way or this way? I don't remember. I think we're up along the top of the map here somewhere, right? Yeah, that should work. I'm going that way. Probably doesn't really super matter. Okay, and the sun, or soybeans, soybean contract is on field 52. Field 52, huh? We'll switch these uh, trucks around. Uh, make sure they're all empty here as well. Actually, speaking of contracts here, this field is done. Field 25, harvest sunflowers. I think that field is done. This is not field 25 here. This is, uh, which one was this? Field, field 58. I'm wondering if we got, uh, some sunflowers in that truck that need to be delivered, and hopefully that'll complete that contract. Anyway, field 52. Planning path. Okay. No idea what he's doing. Let's just, uh... Where's field 52 here? 52, right over there. Okay, so we need to go that way. Let me just pull him out to the road and make sure he actually goes the right way here. I don't like the fact that he's just sitting there. He should, like, drive to the next field here. Okay, let's try that. There we go. That's what I was looking for. 
Make sure it highlights blue there. Oh, yes, and you do have some sunflowers. Okay, well, we're going to go to field. Well, actually, it would be ideal if you went and unloaded first. So we'll switch you to that. And then once we're on the route here, switch you there. We go up to the GSI silo cell point. And that hopefully is enough to actually finish that uh, contract here, then, because that looks like all the sunflowers we have. So, uh, oh, wrong one. Yeah, if we don't have enough, I don't know. Not sure how much more that one needs. So, that being said, one, there apparently is not a whole lot left over to sell either, which is kind of weird. There's, oh, yeah, 20, 27,000 liters. Oh, we're going to get stuck on the pole, aren't we? Oh, never mind. Wow. Talk about just clearing it. Just clearing it. And then back down to the shop. We need to get the truck here on the draper. Actually, we need to put the draper head on the cart here because that apparently has fallen off. As I think it was last episode, we were talking about that there, everyone. That draper head there apparently has a wandering problem. I know there's a uh, John Deere plow. Or actually, I think it's the 2720. I think it's the 2720 that has that problem. Oh, come on, help. 2720 that has that problem as well. If you buy it, one, you know, you load into the game next time, and it'll be like halfway across the map somewhere, right? Pieces of equipment that have that problem, unfortunately. Okay, we, oh, good. We can pick this up. Guessing on the way this is made, everyone, uh, sometimes when you... Uh, Try to pick stuff up like this. It doesn't pick up real well because it's all separate components. And I'm guessing that's what is on here. I'm, I'm guessing anyway. Oh, wow, look at that. I dropped it on pretty good yet, actually. Going with it. Now, let's see if we can actually get up to the field here with this actually on the trailer. Uh, again, for some reason, some of these... Wow, what? Oh, probably autosave. Yep. Some of these modded headers, I don't know why of them, but they do not like actually attach to the trailer. For those of you who have seen the in-game headers, like when you put them on the trailer and also they'll jump and lock on. It doesn't do that with modded headers for some reason. I don't know why that is, but. Okay. Hopefully that can uh, reach its destination here without any uh, problems. And if we go back and look at our contracts here, so we got field 20 cultivating. Oh, you know what? Speaking of cultivating, we need to go get the cultivating tractor going here again. Oh, yeah, okay. We're actually uh, close to being done with this field than I thought we were. It's kind of this uh, corner over here. It's because of the angle he's uh, going at. Okay, you can keep uh, going. And I think our fuel, we can just tell it to head back to the shop here. Probably actually you tell it right from here. Probably, it looks like it. Maybe. Well, I wonder if he's or kind of like halfway in the field. So either go that way or go this way or... Mm, <laughs> doesn't look like he's sure either. We're just going to zigzag back and forth. Okay, then. Wait for him to turn the other way now. Nope, there he goes. There he goes. Okay, looks like he's uh, figured himself out here. Well, let's see what's here. Where's that combine at? Almost to the field? Ooh, that doesn't look good. We are stuck on a light pole. Well, you know what? I, want? I, can, uh, I can fix that. Yes, we will. And for those of you wondering about uh, maybe uh, my map looks a little different than your map, Evan, that is probably why. Uh, anything that has pretty much gotten in the way of the pieces of equipment here as of late, it kind of uh, tends to just like disappear. So we don't have as many problems with auto drive or course play, whatever it is, getting stuck on various things. They just tend to nasty away. They disappear. Map object hider mod, for those of you wondering, by the way. Uh, I'm sure that is probably, unfortunately, a PC only mod. Lets you hide. Map objects, essentially, as, as the name says. Map object hider. So you walk up here. Yes, do you want to hide it? In this case, no, it's fine. Should be anyway. But if we wanted to, we could. Perfect. You know, if you got, like, maybe power poles running through the field and they're, like, super annoying, yeah, that'll take care of that problem there, everyone. Or maybe, uh, like, you got a farmyard. Uh, you, 
the, the map author already set the farmyard up with some stuff, and you're like, man, that that whatever that is is in my way, and I like to put a building there. Bam, yeah, map object hider mod, and uh, boom, gone. Uh, one thing to note with that, though, sometimes I'm going to let you put stuff there, sometimes I won't. So it depends on the object and all that good stuff. So just something to uh, kind of keep in mind there. And also something to keep in mind, sometimes you'll see multiple objects. So just you hide one part and the other parts will still be there yet. So you might have to hide multiple parts to get the entire thing to uh, disappear again. It all depends how the how the map author set it up. And uh, if you're able to actually get on like the main component versus the sub. It, yeah, it gets complicated when it comes to modding stuff, right? Okay, we delivered. Still waiting for like a little bit more money. I'm, I'm tempted just to like go borrow 10, 20,000 just so we can buy that tractor, just so we can be done with it here. I mean, we can pay it back like as soon as one of these contracts finish, right? Why don't we do that? Just so we're not waiting. Oh, where does one borrow money at? Where's the money screen? There's all. I'm, I'm curious what this information is going to look like when we get there. Everyone? Oh, there it is. That is, yeah, we're going to borrow, oh, I didn't mean to borrow that much, or do we have, do we have a little bit of a loan already? Hmm. We did. Yes, I didn't realize that. Nope, not the 900. We want the 1,000, because we need some power for this. 1167 tracks. Yeah, I think we'll just keep it that way. American design, of course, and yes, I do want GPS 464, and we do have enough money for that. Perfect. Uh, let's see once how this uh, tractor pulls the uh, plower one. It's the wrong color green, probably, so it'll probably still won't make a difference. Should have bought the right color green. Okay, and what field are we going to here with the plow? We are going to field seven. Ooh. I mean, down the road a ways, if I remember correctly, but not, like, too far from home. Might have to give this a try ourselves here once it gets to its destination. Speaking of destination, the combine has reached its destination. All right, two-track. They drive a little bit differently. I know some folks... Oh, not that one. I had it set already. Some folks don't like the uh, two-tracks just because of the way they uh, drive in the game, which is... Oh, look at that. There we go. We got our money. Which is understandable because, yeah, they do drive a little bit different. It's open, uh, yeah, close enough, I guess. Combine's right on the other side here. Ooh, and we got some extra money, too, from that con, uh, contract. $99,000. Apparently, we were able to sell a few extra uh, sunflowers there yet. Okay, and we'll, uh, drop this header off here. And actually, you know what? Uh, we don't actually need anything from the shop here. We'll just head right back out to the field. And speaking of fields, soybeans was field 52. So pretty much, uh, yeah, we pretty much need to go all the way back to the opposite end of the map, everyone. And this, everyone, is why I set up an auto drive route. So otherwise, you know, again, when we first started, if you remember, everyone, I'd have to cut the video a couple times here and there just because, like, I'll be back in a half hour once I actually reach the field, right? Fortunately, now we can just do, boom, this, and see ya. We'll meet you back up there once you're up there, which will probably take 10 minutes. And also, I'll get you off the road here in a minute. And then, like I said, I definitely want to give our new uh, plowing tractor a try here, which hopefully won't take it long to get there. It's just down the road. At least I think that's where Field 7 was. There we go. That works for me. Leaving that right there. Oh, and as far as contracts go, too, I'm a little bit bummed here, too. When I first started the episode, there was a nice uh, sewing contract for a uh, barley down there. I should have taken it up when I was looking at it. I'm like, hmm, I should probably take that contract. You know what? Nope. I'll wait until I start recording them, and then I'll grab it. But as usual, Evan, you notice it's gone. I should have grabbed it right away. But, uh, yeah, it, uh, it disappeared, unfortunately, so... Again, I don't know what's up with the contracts. I mean, they still seem like they're a little messed up to me. Uh, appearing and disappearing, all that good stuff. Oh, cool. I'm, uh, spe speaking of completed, by the way. You are not done. Sunflowers. 
Why is the sunflower... Wait a minute. Is field 25 not harvested? Did we, like, miss something on uh, field... Oh, you know what? I bet you I know. Aha! Hmm. I didn't think of that, everyone. The problem is not the fact that the field hasn't been delivered for. We have not harvested enough of the field, I guess. Oh. Okay. Because, uh, judging from the money, everyone, it looks like we got some money. So that means we've probably sold enough sunflowers here at this point. It's the harvesting that's not complete. Okay. Well, good to know. I'll have to... I think we'll just wait for the one in the corn to finish then, everyone, because I've already got the header disconnected and he's heading up to field 52. I'm tempted to have the combine come back here and finish that, but I think we'll just leave it where it's at. So anyway, we'll uh, finish the contract on that one. We'll go back and pay down our loan here real quick. Back to nothing. There we go. And we're already back up to $133,000, which is good. That is good. Ooh, and that reminds me, I've got one more thing I need to do too. Where is the lime spreader at? He should be at his field, hopefully. I'm not sure what field that is. Just a quick tab around here a minute. Find him. Oh, yeah, and you are done. You are done there, bud. Back to the shop with you. Yeah, there we go. Okay, where did you leave off at? I'm not mistaken. It looks like it's right over there. Let's go to the nearest waypoint. Also, I do not know why that is hiccuping. That is... Oh. Something broke, everyone. Let me hit the save here on the map, because I do not like seeing that. How about you folks? Yeah, it's just running a little update here. Hmm. Something just broke. I mean, I don't know what. The game does seem to be running yet. Oh, and actually, maybe it fixed itself because it does not seem to be continuing here at this point. Also, there should be another truck here. Let's see, is it 52? Yeah, 52 is on our right side there. So let me uh, just get this out of the way here a minute. Don't think we have any uh, Field 53 contracts here at the moment. Double check, make sure. Ooh, the, that does drive through there a little bit. I think we should be good here, though. Make sure we stay out of the way. Turn that off as well. Okay. Well, let's go see once if our uh, tractor's reached uh, Field 7 here for the plowing contract. Yes, he has, because I don't know about you folks. I want to give this a try. See once our new tractor does. You know, if it doesn't do well, maybe we need to uh, turn it back in and just uh, get a proper green tractor then. Okay, and GPS on, yep, check. Oh, and what kind of angle? Let's try uh, 357 for starters, see once how that looks. That looks like, yeah, that, that's too much angle. Let's try maybe three, 358, maybe even 359. Let's set the width here again as well. Hmm, looks like too much, but let's give it a try. Do I have anything in between that? Yeah, three, yeah, it just goes from 359 to 358. I'm wondering if we need like 358 and a half or something. A little looking at this, we might not be too far off here. And yes, looks like this tractor is able to uh, pull this plow. I think if I remember correctly, nine miles per hour was the uh, full speed here for this uh, particular plow. Again, the uh, little uh, fence there. And I say little of them because that still was like a 500 horsepower tractor there. That one can only pull it, I think it was like six miles an hour or something like that. And this 1167 has just a little bit more horsepower. I think by like 100. So I guess I say a little horsepower, 100 horsepower. That's, that's a fair amount. And I'm sure this tractor is probably significantly more heavy than that uh, other tractor there. Our, uh, which one do we have? Actually, you know what? We didn't even have this one maxed out. Did we? Was it the 10? Do we have the 1050 or is it the 1040? Six. I don't know if I can tell here. If I go to the shop, maybe it would say... Uh, that might have been part of our problem too, Evan. 
I thought we had that uh, tractor maxed out. We did not. We were only at the 1042. So possibly bumping that up to the 1050, that might have uh, given enough horsepower to pull that better. How much horsepower difference is there if we go? So this is... Five, okay, it is the 1042 is still 500 horsepower. This is 673, so technically almost 175 more horsepower. <laughs> that is just uh, that, that's a pretty good horsepower bump. That's uh, that is some horsepower. That bumps out. Oh, yeah, 500 to 17. I don't think that would have made that much difference. I, mean, I don't know. Maybe it would have, but we could have tried to put more weight on it too. Possibly, maybe more weight would have helped. Kind of the two uh, big things when it comes to tractors, Evan. Yes, horsepower is important, Evan. But you can have all the horsepower in the world if you don't have the weight. Uh, weight is just as important. Uh, without weight, sometimes even uh, probably argue that weight is even more important. You could go with a little, little, little bit less horsepower. Yes, you'll probably have to go a little slower. But as long as you have the weight, that's probably arguably more important than the horsepower. Because again, like I said, you can have all the horsepower you want. I mean, if you don't have the weight, it's not going to do any good. Now, if you have all the weight and you don't have the horsepower of one, like I said, you're probably okay. Just going to have to go a little slower. Might not be going up and down the field at that uh, 10 mile an hour. You might have to go five or two. Anyway. Over to the comment section. We'll see what you folks had to say here from the last uh, couple episodes. Uh, Josh Dunn was saying, hey, thanks for showing my map uh, on your videos. Uh, excited info. If you uh, find any issues or problems, let me know if I need to fix them. By the way, it's... Oh, I should say Jay Dunn. Okay. He, oh, Jay Dunn, 1019 on Twitch. Uh, he is the uh, map author here for the Genesee County Farmers map, by the way. So Jay Dunn, 1019 on Twitch for anyone that's uh, curious. And uh, by the way, as I said before, I would highly recommend that check this map out. A uh, really good American feeling map here. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, Farmer Johnson was saying you should try the Big Flats Texas map. Oh, the Big Flats Texas map. Uh, Christopher was saying, good video. Keep it up. Hey, thank you very much for that. Always very much appreciated. Yeah, so far, I'm going to have to say I think we're happy with our uh, purchase here. I mean, other than being the wrong color green, we'll, we'll try not to hold that against it too bad. Uh, come on now. You folks know by now I'm, I'm going to hold that against it uh, every single episode. I mean, it is the wrong color green. As I said before, I mean, there is only one tractor brand, right? Oh, like, uh, oh, what's his name? He goes and goes around and puts out the sign uh, with a statement and uh, change my mind, right? Yep, there we go. I'm, I'm going to have to do that. Uh, John Deere is the best. Change my mind. Never mind, you're not going to. So, <laughs> I, I just like uh, picking fun at that type of thing. So, a lot of white dust on this field. Hmm, suspicious. Oh, and what are the chances this will line up on this side? I guess we'll find out. Oh. GPS stopped us, even though I had cruise control on. Oh, well. Oh, let's see. Is there anything we need to uh, work on here at the moment? Everything is pretty much uh, doing its job. Hopefully, never mind. I see you do not appear to be doing your job. What do we got going on here? Or, uh, is the combine empty? Let me double check that here a minute. Combine is empty. Okay. So you, bud, just need to, like, get out of the way here. There we go. Okay. Not entirely sure what was up with that. Maybe this truck might have just been uh, sitting here parked there. 
Uh, that doesn't make sense, though, either, because, yeah, something something weird was going on, whatever. Oh, field 18, that is a big field of corn. I mean, that is going to take a little bit to harvest uh, that field there. Back to plowing. Oh, uh, what was that, 90? Oh, that's a cultivating tractor. I will take care of that off camera. Oh, speaking of off camera, I just looked over at the time. Everyone, it is time to wrap it up here this episode already. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no, I was just starting to have fun. Oh, well. Anyway, you folks have any comments or questions, I'm going to be sure to uh, leave them down below. And as always, I want to thanks for watching. Until next time.